Hey, you guys. I'm back. It's your girl, Jay Pretty. I'm coming at you. Let me adjust this. Okay, hopefully everything works itself out. This story is about manifestation, law of attraction story. Um, it's about my brother. Let me just say this. Um, I'm part of the story. Can't make this up if I wanted to. So, my brother ended up, like, we carpool in the morning. I drop him off at work because we literally work across the street from each other. So I'm dropping him off thinking everything is okay. He calls me around by 2.40 and like, hey, you know, what time you get off today? And I'm just like, I get off at 3.30 today, luckily, because usually I get off really late. So he was like, um, well, do you mind coming to get me from the music store? I'm like, why? Like, you know, how did you get there? You need to find your way home. And he was like, I can't. So he tells me this story that... He um, was in the music store playing the music. And my brother is a very, um, I want to say a vivid, wild character. And I don't mean it in a bad way, but he's a very colorful personality, just like me. You know, we're very colorful people. So, and people, when they get to know you, they see that you're loving and stuff like that. He draws people to him. That's just who he is. He has great customer service. He's just one of those people. Have you ever seen like you feel good around them? They're really good people. Um, you know, those are good qualities of him. And of course, he's my brother. We bump heads. We could have actually been twins. My mom used to always say. But nevertheless, I'm just going to keep with the story. So I'm just like, oh my God, like, why do I got to come pick you up? Like, I'm just really not for it. So he was like, while he was at the music store, he was like, a couple came over and they, you know, was asking him, you know, to help them out, um, with their, um, you know, with, I guess trying to find a piano for their daughter. Mind you, my brother don't even work for this piano, so he just goes in there to play music. So, you know, he was giving them, like, he said he didn't want to give them something too, like, that's too much for, like, high price stuff. He was, like, staying in a minimum of, you know, affordable, you know, um, keyboards, pianos, and all this other stuff. So they asked him, well, if you had it your way, what would you buy? And he said, well, actually, I would, ma'am, if I had it my way, I would buy this one. And, you know, they was like, okay. And so um, he said, but since it's your daughter, and he was like in a level that she's at, let's stick. He said, you probably want to stick to something like less of, um, you know, $1,000 or whatever. But the husband was like, I'm willing to pay at least a thousand dollars for her and my brother's like whoa y'all must be rich you know and his mind like that ain't nothing for y'all you know and everything else to just drop that just to help her to get into a craft like y'all must got that paper in so many words and they just start laughing or whatever and so you know he was still helping them you know get the additional stuff to go with the piano basically so um, my brother say that when they were up there purchasing the um the items and stuff like that, he was like, Mom and Dad, could you buy me a piano? And that's what he said. They laughed it off or whatever. And um he said that um Oh, he said, um, he saw they go card. I'm just trying to remember. And he said, oh, yeah, I know y'all rich now or whatever. And, you know, he's just a colorful person. He played for whatever. And, you know, he goes on, proceed to start playing again. So then the next thing he know is that they're getting everything for him, you know, as well. Everything they bought their daughter, they purchased it for my brother as well. He don't even know these people. He just met them, helped them out or whatever. He said it only took him 15 minutes. So while I'm on the phone with him, he's telling me this. I was like, I know you lying. I know you lying. What? Like, who does that? He was like, Gerald, all this stuff is like $1,500. I'm like, what? Like, it's still not registering with me. Not to say people don't do good deeds and everything else and... It's just the fact that my brother actually, like, has somebody to purchase these items for him. So, I go pick him up, and I'm there. I really didn't want to be there, but I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, we're going to get... Because I'm like, it won't fit in my car. He's like, it's not 
a baby grand or nothing like that. He was like, it's a keyboard. It turns into a piano. It has the bench and all this other stuff. So when I go to the meet him up at the uh, music store, he's doing like this, like come to the front. So I'm coming to the front. Oh my God. Let me tell you. <laughs> When the girl willed it out on the dollar, he had like six boxes. I'm like in disbelief, okay? And I do believe in law of attraction. I do believe in manifestation. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Like, is this really happening? You know, this is like something like out of the ordinary, you know? And my brother loves music. That's his passion. He loves, loves music, okay? So he said that the um, people told him, you know continue to play your beautiful music and i thought that was the most touching thing you know whatever so you know he get and i i don't want to cry or nothing like that um but it's so amazing how things work because i helped him get the stuff in the car and how we were able to do it was that we had to bust down the boxes take out the um piano keyboard or whatever you want to call it and like slide it on the seat because the box of course boxes are going to always be bigger than the item on the inside and everything else because they try to get the stuff on you know protect the item i get it so we did that and we go home so on our way home i'm like you have to tell me this story you have to make sure you give me all of the details and he was like i was in there like i told y'all what happened he said in the midst of before they came in he said Something told him when his job told him that he wasn't able to come in today. Not that he was able to, he wasn't on the um, schedule. He was like, something just told him don't go home. Because that's what he was going to do. He said something told him to go to the music store. So he did that. He said while he was in the music store, um, a Mediterranean guy came up to him. And he was telling him that he was trying to be a designer and you know he doesn't understand what is going on you know um he working his job he really don't like his job but he's putting all his focus into this designer his his label i guess i want to say but it's not picking up like how he feel like it should or whatever and it's just like he's frustrated so my brother you know which is he knows what to say he has a gift of saying the right thing when you're when you feel like you're you know some people just know what to say to make you feel better but it's on right on time and you can feel it within that it's genuine and oh and it's true so that's basically what was going on and he said that you know he was just telling him like you know your day job you know it's just only tip aware but you of course you got to pay your bills and stuff he said don't give up he said still light the fire up under you know what um your passion is he said you already sowed the seed he said so continually to water eventually it's going to sprout up it's going to be and i thought that was really sweet that he told him that and um everything and i sometimes i'm about to say things and i'll be like that came from you you know whatever and i should know him as a person but yeah and that was that and another thing is is that um i was like well how did you attract, did you attract that keyboard and everything? And my brother said that a year ago, he was like, um, he was in the, the store and he said he saw that exact keyboard. And he said, when he saw the keyboard, he touched the keyboard and he said, man, oh God, please bless somebody. He said, please bless somebody hard to bless me with this computer, with this um keyboard um i'm thinking that's how it went in my mind that's what he said it may not be in a bless somebody but it probably was um god please send somebody that's probably what he said but i can't remember verbatim the words but basically my brother was just saying that please put it on somebody else Hard to afford, you know, to be able to, um, to be a blessing to him because he didn't have the money, 1500 just to drop on all the equipment that he needed, you know, that he really wanted. So that was like, you know, that's what usually my brother, my brother, things just happen to him. Like he always, 
get like big checks in the mail. He he has always driven cars that he wanted, and his favorite cars are BMWs. Ever since he was he was in high school, he's always driven a BMW, and. It, and when I tell people, they be like, your brother always strike up with the good luck. But one thing that I know from him, it's like he doesn't worry. He doesn't worry like me. I, I, I try not to worry on things in my head. I try to strategize and everything else. But with him, it's just like I'm going to put it on my phone and whatever. Like with his cars and everything, he would just put it on his phone as a picture. He would look at it and everything and be like, I'm going to get that car. That's him. But for him, it's like it's not even, um, not to say fascinating, but we're so used to him doing that, you know, whatever. And even with money, he'd be like, well, you know what? A blessing is going to come through. With my name on it, I'm going to give me a check. And it seems like it just always happened and works out for him. So with this, I had to find out, like, how did he bring it into existence? And so that was interesting because he said he didn't think about it anymore or whatever all he knew is that that's something that he wanted so i say this to anybody or whatever is that law of attraction manifestation is real and i'm learning um as i go because each day is a different lesson and it really taught me something you know sometimes just you have to let it go. You just have to let it go and know that it's going to work out. You And I always say, I always have to remind myself as well that, you know, when you put it out there and you pray for something or you put it out, you know, it's like, well, oh, I really wish this, I wish this. You know, don't think about it too much, but it's good to have visualizations, exercises going on and so that it can be fresh on your mind because the power in it, it'll manifest itself and it will come into your reality. And I just say that that was an awesome story. And um, I asked him before, you know, well, I didn't ask him. I said, I'm going to tell. I, I have to tell this on YouTube. He was like, sure. You know, he doesn't care or whatever. But it just amazes me. It never ceases to amaze me of all the incredible things that actually happened. And the most incredible thing for me that happened because, you know, sometimes his whole demeanor can be a little different with things. And uh, he can go from zero to a hundred. I'm getting emotional because this is the part that I almost was going to leave out. And um, he was just saying that, you know, in the midst of all of this is that he say, you know, Jay, I just realized that it's all in my attitude. He said, I've been really, really trying hard to work on my attitude because like I say, he's a good person. He has a good personality, but sometimes his thoughts can get the best of him and our thoughts can be our enemies. And that was one of my prayers for him. And it just made me feel good that my prayers are being answered for him. And I was like, see how things are connected and tied into each other. Because anybody that know me that I'm a very family person and, you know, my mom is no longer living. So, I take a lot of responsibility, and I'm the oldest. So, you know, that made me feel really good to hear that. And uh, it was a good feeling, and... My brother was like, and I was thinking too, you know, did my mom have something to do with this? Because she was a musician too. And I was 
was like, you know, I feel the same way because sometimes me and my brother, we're so connected and sometimes our thoughts just kind of be on the same wavelength because I was thinking, so I say, what if my mom had some, you know, what if my mom had something to do with this? I just felt that way. And my brother felt the same way too. And it's so funny because I didn't mention it to him. But when he was getting out the car, getting his things, and he was like, you know, what if, he was like, what if mama had something to do with this? I say, I was thinking the same thing. I say, do you think so? And he said, I don't know. He said, but that's how I feel. And I'm sorry for tearing up or whatever, but it's like, when you believe and, you know, you stand in the gap for people that you love and you pray for, for them, it makes a a difference, you know, and it made me feel good to know. I never told him that I was praying for his attitude to change. Your attitude determines your altitude. And that's something that I always used to preach to him that, you know, he could be a good person, but then he'll spaz out or his thoughts can get the best of him. And then he'll snap. He'll go from zero to a hundred. And I get it that sometimes, you know, we all get frustrated with things in life, but it really made um, me feel good and warm in my heart. But to see that, you know, my prayer did answer for him, you know, I was essentially thinking about myself, but I was like, I'm going to pray for him. So everything like, it's just, it's amazing how everything in the universe is connected and how it works together. You know, whether this is the good or the bad, it all works together, you know? So, I'm sorry for getting, I don't want to really apologize for me being emotional because I'm human just like anybody else. And, you know, losing a loved one, especially your mom, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how long ago it was, that'll never change, you know? So, I don't really want to apologize for that part or whatever because that was just how I felt. And, um, you know, sometimes you just have to be real, okay, with everything. And that's just me. I'm just a real person, you know, not trying to fake it or sugarcoat anything, but just be me. You know, but, uh, and most people never see me cry. So this is really something because I would say, yeah, I'm a G or whatever. But when you have, when you have love, when people that you love or whatever, that's priceless, emotions are involved. Y'all get the point, you know, but I'm not going to keep you long. I really appreciate it. And, um, I want to hear your comments, you know, your manifestation stories, law of attraction, you know, your prayers. I want to hear them, you know, so reach back at your girl and I holler.